Hi, my name is Alex Feisley. I am the CEO of Gravital, and today I want to show you a quick demonstration of a topology we enable using NetMaker. And this is not a topology you'd probably see in production, but it's an example of a lot of the different features you get with NetMaker all combined into one demo architecture. So what we have here is microcates running across clouds. So this is a multi-cloud microcates cluster running in Linode, AWS, and a data center on bare metal. Then in addition, we have another cluster, K3S, in DigitalOcean. And we've created a gateway into that cluster using a single pod deployed on top of it. Finally, we have a MySQL server running on bare metal inside of the data center as well. And that's our full mesh network, which has a egress gateway here. And the last piece we put in there is an ingress gateway on Linode that enables my laptop to reach into the network and access all of these services. So let's go ahead and show you what that looks like. So this is our network uh, called Microcates on top of NetMaker. It has a subnet range and we can set some of these options on it. And we already set up our network, which includes uh, virtual machines and bare metal machines running in AWS, in K3S on a pod, uh, in Linode, another bare metal server here with MySQL, and another on-prem instance of Microcates. And we added these all in with access keys that we created. So we just created a new one and we just created it and just took that install command and ran that on our machines. The next thing we did was set our K3S gateway as an egress node so that it could reach into the network. So the way you do that is you create an egress range and this egress gateway can access anything that's that node has accessible to it. So for instance, if you're a pod on a cluster, you could access the 10.44.0.0 slash 16 network, which is the pod network. And once you create that, all of your other services inside of your mesh VPN now have access to that. And then of course, we created an ingress gateway on top of Linode. So the way you do that is you just create, click to create an ingress gateway. And then over here is where we have it. So we created one for our laptop and these are just settings that you can download and run on your computer without it needing to be meshed into the network. So what does this actually look like? So let's go first over to our Linode instance and take a look at some pods we have running. So we have these pods uh, running in the ping test namespace, and these are all running on nodes in different clouds. And as we'll see here, we can exec into any one of those and we can run the ping command and reach our other environments on the same pod network. So this is something you're not gonna find with a lot of clusters by default. You need to use a mesh VPN like NetMaker as an underlay for that cluster in order to reach in and do that. So what's the next thing we're gonna look at? Well, we have this K3S cluster over here and let's take a look at that. So we have our K3S nodes. These are running in DigitalOcean and let's take a look at the pods running there. So we have this pod right here is the net client gateway. And what this did is add in this pod or the machine rather that the pod is running on as a gateway into that network. So we have that defined here. If we take a look in there, you can see the egress gateway ranges, which show that it's accessing both the pod and the service network. So what that lets us do is something like reach a Nginx pod from our other cluster. So I'm still in my ping test pod over here. Remember I just ran that ping command. And now what I wanna do is reach an Nginx pod running over here. So this is running on 10.44 and I can reach that as well. And do I have curl on here? Let's try that. Okay, so I don't have curl, maybe I have wget. I think the ping test pod is pretty negative. Oh, I do have wget, so I can even take a look at that Nginx page that gets created. 
What's more, since my local laptop has been added to this network, I can actually reach this pod directly from my laptop. And there's two for that deployment, so here's the other one, just to show you that. But I am accessing this pod directly inside of my browser via the ingress gateway into this mesh network. So that's a quick demonstration of multi-cluster, of multi-cloud single cluster. And now let's take a look at one other thing. So back on Microcates, we have another thing here. We have WordPress. So WordPress needs a MySQL server. And our MySQL server is running on-prem in the data center. So what we did is add that VM into our NetMaker network. So it's meshed in. And then anything is able to get there, including pods running on this cluster. So going to our WordPress here, we have a container, which if you check it out here, um, let's do my get the pods there. Um, so we have WordPress running there, and which cloud is this in? This is an AWS. So we have WordPress on a pod running in AWS, which is contacting a MySQL server running on-prem. And I'm able to reach this WordPress container, or rather the node port, over the private address. So that was a very quick demonstration of what we were able to enable with a NetMaker mesh network. Now, there's other features we didn't get into, such as, for instance, managing private DNS. We actually are using that with Microcates under the hood, um, but that's definitely another feature. Um, there's other things such as working with different users, uh, different things you can do with external clients, but this was just a really quick demonstration of a pretty complex topology. And just to show you that one more time, this is what we created. So I hope you enjoyed that quick demonstration and you know, let me know in the comments if you have any questions, I'm happy to answer them. And of course I'll post some resources in the description in case you are looking to learn more. So thank you very much.